here is the physiological response of increased heart rate, sweating, increased breathing, activated muscles. It's deep in the middle of our brain. If you don't have an amygdala, you won't be afraid of anything. Sometimes people call the amygdala the lizard brain. It's a primitive mini brain within our brain. Even crocodiles that have scarcely changed for 70 million years have an amygdala. Things that go bump in the night. If a predator is going to eat me, I need to run the other direction without thinking about it for a really long time. First, you're gonna see the eyes, the retina neurons activating. Those are gonna send projections to the middle part of the brain. Those then split, and you'll get some projections going directly to the amygdala. So within one synapse, the amygdala is starting to get information. Your body has adrenaline flowing, your amygdala is activated. But there's not actually a threat. You'll get some projections going to the visual cortex that starts the cascade of conscious awareness. Regions like the prefrontal cortex have the ability for higher cognitive functions like, oh, I recognize this, it's not a real monster, it looks like a person dressed up as a monster, and therefore I'm going to suppress activity in the amygdala. And that leads to both a sense of relief, maybe a sense of humor. So you reinterpret this emotional state as positive because it's the only other thing it could be. If that stimulus doesn't predict any positive or negative consequences, then the amygdala stops responding to it. So the first time the monster jumps out, oh my god, you have the, the, the scream, the startle, the heart rate, etc. The next time, maybe similarly, but maybe the third or fourth time, if the monster is the same, the place is the same, okay, I'm over this. You would want changes in sensory cues that are really big. So from dark to light, big to little, things that really activate the sensory differences. So that you don't habituate to the same monster popping up over and over, you would want to vary the stimuli. Some that are visual, some that are auditory, you feel a little chilly mist. I think in the ideal haunted house, you would have things that would also play into people's most specific, unique fears. 